What if you could take a 15 or 16 year old golf cart and make it look like it's brand new? That's what we're going to take a look at in today's episode. Golf Carting TV is your inside source for the coolest upgrades, mods, and accessories to take your trusty golf cart from drab to fab. Hey, and welcome to Golf Carting TV. My name is Matt with Converted Carts, and we're thrilled to have a guest today that's going to show us an old club car precedent, 2006, that he took and converted into something that really looks like uh, he just bought it yesterday. I mean, it's brand new with, with wheels and tires and lift kit and body kit and all the things. Cool. Welcome, Chris. Thanks for joining us today. Um, why don't you start by telling me just a little bit about uh, the cart itself? What kind of make, model, year, just kind of the basics? What did you start with on this on this build? Hi. Yeah, thanks, Matt. Um, yeah, so definitely it's uh, it started its life as a 2006 uh, club car precedent, uh, 48 volt. And, um, yeah, I just, I wanted to do the full, uh, alpha Lux build, um, Navitas five kilowatt, uh, motor system and, uh, a six inch lift, 15 inch wheels and tires. So, uh, it, it really came out really good. So, uh, I'm actually really happy with the way it came out. So why don't we walk around the car a little bit, Chris, and, and you, you kind of highlight a few of the things that you've got going on there and, uh, I'll ask some questions as we get into it. Cool. Okay. Yeah. So right here in the front, you could see the the Lux lighting on the uh, on the club car with the Alpha body kit. Uh, high and low beam lights, horn, fog lights on the bottom. I installed the the underglow lights, six inch lift, A arm lift kit. Uh, we got the um, the fifteen inch Mad Jacks Evolution wheels. I believe these are the the gunmetal. Obviously, we got the windshield. Uh, this is custom upholstery by uh, my upholsterer that works on this. So we have it's a carbon fiber black upholstery with like a uh, it's almost like a grayish bluish tint to the to the upholstery. Uh, here's our Navitas uh, on the fly controller right there. Um, got the USB key, low battery warning light. This is the uh, extreme mats. You, know, you can see the logo there if you want. With the gray and the black. Under the hood here, we got a set of four uh, AGM 31 batteries. Uh, high, high amp uh, solenoid with an Avitas TAC 2 system. Tell me a little bit about that system and how, what that what you feel like that does for the cart. How how much power and speed and extra do you get out of that system? Uh, I've installed various different speed systems in the carts, um, anywhere from just a motor only or a controller only. Um, and the the best performance that I've ever gotten, and actually the the only the only system that I can actually recommend for you know, customers and new customers willing to uh, wanting to go faster or, or just have more control of their carts uh, is the Navitas Tech 2. Um, simply because like for around the seven to $800 range, whether you're going to get a motor controller or something like that, um, I typically found you get maybe between 30 to 50% more power and more uh, torque. Uh, but with the Navitas, it's uh, with the Navitas Tech 2, it's it's just simply uh, basically like two to 300% more power increase, more torque. Um, it's a legit night and day difference. And it's literally the only thing that um, I've had customers never call me back about. Uh, you know, when I install just like a, let's just say like, for instance, uh, just an upgraded motor. Uh, I've had one say, okay, this is great, but I really want to go faster. So then once I install the Navitas Tech 2, uh, that's the last I hear of it. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's fully, uh, so it basically takes your cart from about 50 miles an hour to 25 to 35 miles an hour, you know, depending on, uh, uh, you know, your terrain. Um, but just, just like that, just with the simple bolt-in procedure, 
you're on the flight controller right here. What's nice is you got the regen feature. So if you can, it actually saves your uh, your brakes if you crank up the regen. Your 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 motor will kind of actually act as a brake, and also it it takes that motor brake and it converts it into power, so it can recharge the batteries. Um, you know your speed your speed settings. You can like I said, you get up to about uh, 25, 35 miles an hour. Um, acceleration acceleration is crazy fast. If you crank up the acceleration all the way, like you're you're gonna chirp the tires. Like it's almost yeah. like too fast. <laughs> and all that comes with an app too, right? That controls and manages all that setup. Yeah, exactly. So the app is super cool. Um, so like where where I live versus where the customer I sold this car to lives, uh, we're about 20 miles away from each other. And if he ever gets any kind of question or something on it, uh, the, the Navitas app will send him a code and he can literally forward me that code from the app to my phone and I can help him troubleshoot it, diagnose it, whatnot. Uh, you can see all the inputs on the app. You could see your brake pedal, your your um, your accelerator pedal. Um, you know how fast you're going. You could limit uh, max speeds. Um, you can. It's fully fully uh, user friendly, and it's it's very easy. It's not overly complicated. That's what I like about it. Uh, some some of the the controller systems that I've worked on before, it has too much information and and too much. You're just not going to use any of it. So. Uh, right. The Navitas is super easy. Very cool. Yeah, and I love Tell it. Tell me a little bit about the, the rear seat you got there. Yeah, so this is the, the Mad Jacks Genesis 250. Forgive us, the, the X kind of fell off, I guess. <laughs> 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 but, uh, yeah, this one is, is, is I, I love this seat. Um, it's it's uh, built out of plastic, has the built-in cup holders. Um, but also has a aluminum or steel frame, depending on which one you get, 250 or 350. Um, and again, so I took the seats that came with the, the 250 and I had them reupholstered to, to match the fronts that I did. Uh, what's really cool with this is I like the, the big footrest. A lot of the other uh, back seats only have a tiny footrest. And what's really cool with this, uh, it takes a little bit of legwork, but if you have this thing on, let's say your, you know, your eight foot trailer and you're going to take it somewhere and this back, this back footrest doesn't fit because it sticks out another foot or so, you can actually pull these pins right here on both sides. You can pull the pins on the bottom and this whole thing is on a hinge system right here. Uh, these hinges. And it'll fold up and it'll kind of hang over here and it'll shorten your your footprint. Uh, that way you can, uh, you know, get it on the trailer or on the back of your, your long bed truck or something like that. Yeah. So tell me, just tell me a little bit about that steering wheel. What's the, what do they got going on there? Yeah, this one's cool. Uh, I, I've, I usually use the, the rocks uh, steering wheels. I kind of like those. Uh, this one I found, um, I think it was an unlicensed one, so there's no brand on it, but it looked really cool. Um, you know, it's kind of sporty, kind of futuristic, uh, has the flat bottom here, carbon fiber trim. Uh, it kind of goes with the seats, even though they weren't really paired together. It's just kind of, it worked out that way, I guess. Um, you know, kind of like a brushed aluminum here. Um Faux, faux horn button, suicide yeah. knob. The customer actually added this little knob, which I think it it goes pretty well with it. It's kind of cool. And that's um, cool. I've actually never seen one like that. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I somehow I stumbled upon it, and um, it was yeah. That's not it's not really on the on the main golf cart um, steering wheels, but but I found it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, tell me a little bit more if you walk around and show me some of the the body itself. Like, tell what's the? I know we we looked at the lights a little bit, uh, yep. but uh, so we've got some graphics. You said the customer added those graphics onto the side. Yeah, so we have uh, these kind of kind of cool monster, 
almost uh, like claws ripping through, which I think it goes pretty well. It looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of an old like hot rod. We got our forward reverse switch there and our charging port. Um, and then we have, we don't have the charger here. The charger, the charger's somewhere around here. But yeah, we got the, uh, the 80 inch universal top. And we added the the five panel uh, rear view. So everything on that is is officially street legal as far as that yeah. Goes? So it has yeah it has it has every uh, aspect to be street legal. Um, we have the side mirrors. Uh, we got turn signals, brake lights. There's the turn signals. So for those who don't know about like a body kit in general, so th this particular one for the Alpha, it basically just replaces the existing cowl. So you have a front cowl and a real cowl, and it basically just those pop off and the other ones pop on, right? Is that a yeah, really easy process? Fairly easy. Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, the, the average DIYer with a, a little bit of mechanical uh, skills uh, can definitely do it. Yeah. Um, basically, uh, I think the, the, the hardest part, depending on what, what kind of cart and what year cart you have is, is really the prep work. And that's, and that's, I guess, with any trade, you know, if you're doing drywall or, or tile or anything is you, you when you get it down to the frame, uh, for me, at least, I really like to make sure all the old rivets are, are out, all the holes are clean. Uh, and then, if you have a, a, an area on the frame that's rusted, then you, you might need to repair that, may, need to weld. Um, but for the most part, generally speaking, if you if you have a cart and you tear it down, uh, the body kit just basically goes back on. You got to just, uh, on this one, you got to build a couple. Uh, uh, actually, the, the Alpha, I think it comes in a in a crate where you don't have to build as much. The storm body, you have to uh, put more pieces together. So you build the you build the body kit. You know you install the rivets or the screws, and and that's basically it. And so what's cool? Back up a little bit, if you would. Well, what's cool about this the cart there is that you said it's a 2006. Yeah. And you know you can make it look like I mean it it looks like it's brand new. That could be a 2022 or 2023 or you know whatever as far as the the look of it so it's really cool what those body kits can do yeah exactly like if you if you have the right model the right year um you're gonna you're gonna go far exactly because uh you know the club that that basically just increases your uh your product value if you have a stock club car precedent um and it could take this body kit you know the the ds's aren't necessarily uh uh, capable of uh, installing this body kits made, you know, exclusively for the precedent and the onwards, which are basically, I think, the, the same as a precedent. Um, so yeah, it's uh, you know, if you if you have a, I think it starts at 2004. So if you have a 2004 precedent yeah. and up, um, you basically can convert it into a brand new looking cart for sure. Cool, Chris. Okay. So uh, let me know a little bit about your uh, the business. Obviously, you do this. I don't know. If this, is this a full time thing or is this something you do on the side? Tell me a little bit about that and then just share a little bit about where maybe somebody could find you if they're looking for a for a cart. Great. Yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, um, it's it's this is a 100 percent part time thing for me. Uh, I've been doing uh, golf cart rebuilding since 2015 and I, I absolutely love it. Uh, I was actually, how I got into it was I was a, um, a forklift mechanic working on 36 and 48 volt uh, forklifts for the giant warehouses. And the warehouse supervisors and managers would have these stock easy goes, stock club cars that they would take a, across the warehouses to get back and forth uh, through the warehouses. And once I sat on that golf cart, um, because uh, occasionally they would ask me, hey, this thing's not working. Can you, you think you could fix it? And I said, well, yeah, if it's 36 or 48, uh, I'm already working on your forklift. So sure. And, uh, next thing you know, I, I sat on the golf cart and I said, I need to, these things are way more fun than forklifts. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, um, 
you know, I started rebuilding a couple and then I kind of went down the rabbit hole and I, I started seeing all the things that they had for golf carts. And that's kind of what I just been doing. So I've been doing a little more uh, here and there. And, um, and that's kind of, you know, what, it, what, how I kind of got here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm mainly on the, so right now I'm just kind of like in between, you know, just a private independent rebuilder. Um, but I do have people that are asking uh, about, about it and, uh, Hey, can you build me a cart? You know, I'm, I mostly work on people's carts from in the LA area. So anywhere from, you know, the beach cities out to, you know, about 50 miles inland. Um, so yeah, if you're in LA, let me know and I will definitely hook you up. Uh, I work on cool. customers. Yeah, go ahead. In integral carts is the. In, yeah, is integral the carts. Huh? Mm -hmm. Integral carts and, uh. I'm on uh, Instagram at Integral Carts, and the website IntegralCarts.com is coming soon. <laughs> awesome, awesome, cool. Well, thanks so much, Chris, for joining us today. Really appreciate you coming on. Oh, definitely, Matt. I thank you for the opportunity and the time, and thanks for uh, checking out the Alpha.